Fußball steht. Welcome to the show. Today we're looking back at more of the shocking lie detector results revealed on my show in season two. In this first story, Keith's ex Crystal has accused him of abusing his three year old son. He stands firm and denies any wrongdoing. They both took a lie detector test to find out who was telling the truth. Take a look at a clip. And Keith, you've been accused of inappropriately touching your son when he was three years old, right? Yeah. You've been accused of that? Yeah. Now, I don't know if you did it. We're going to get to the bottom of it. Um, before the show, you took a lie detector test? Yes. Right? Correct? Yes. So, until we get the story out, until we find out whether you did this or not, I would like you to stand up and not sit in a chair until we find out whether you did this or not, okay? <laughs> I'm going to talk to you, and we are going to get to the bottom of this and find out if you did. And if you didn't, I'll be more than happy to say, Keith, have a seat, let's talk. I don't but want until your time, seat till then. You, well, you know what? Then, then you won't have a problem well, standing that's, up. That, no, I don't. Okay? Then you don't have a problem standing no, up. No, you're right. I because don't. Because if you did for even there one second. There is no if I did. I did. a child uncomfortable, I then I don't want you to be comfortable, and I want you to stand up. Screw that's why you I do it. and your seat. Yeah. Now, are we going to sit here and talk about who's tough? Are we going to get to the bottom of the truth, whether you did something to your son or not? Do you want to find out? Find out. I know already. You want to find out. Then why the hell are you standing on my I'm stage? here for my kids. Okay. I'm here for them. There you go. There you go. Let's make that the point of the show. We're here for your kids. That's all the reason okay. I'm here. All right, Keith. So now can we continue with the show? Continue. Okay. Did you do it? No, I didn't do it. Okay. Why are you being accused of such a crime? Allegedly, my son, when he was three, three and a half years old, told his mother that I reached inside his and fondled him. So you, 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 were, you were accused of this. How did you find out that you were being accused of this? I found out first through children and youth. They contacted you? They came to my home with sheriffs. They told me that they got a phone call saying that I was molesting my oldest son. And what did you say? Wait, wait. Take your wait. time. Take your time. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, give him a minute, wait, Mike. Wait, just wait. give him a minute. Wait. I got to imagine, Keith, this is a pretty emotional thing, especially if you're an innocent man. Who said that you did this? His mother. His mother said that, that you did this? Yeah. Is this a woman that you're married to? or No, we have so kids together. You have children together? Yeah. How many children do you have together? Two. Two. Is there anything off the top of your head that would make you think why, because you're saying you didn't do it, why she would say that you did this? But the only thing I could think of is, like, in my past, I, I cheated on her. Did you ever ask her why she's doing that to you? She's saying she's not making it up. She says that my son really said this. And she took a lie detector test before the show also. And you feel really confident about your test. It's not confidence. I know. You know. I, I mean, know me. I got to say, you're the first person we've ever done the show who's as confident as you are about passing the test. What did your son say to you? My son said to me to tell Keith to stay out of his diapers. Tell, he said, Mommy, tell Keith to stay, stay out, out of my, my diapers. Di tell, tell Daddy to stay out of my diapers. When did you talk to Keith about that your son said this to you? That, that, stay out that of my night, diapers? that day. And what did Keith say? He said, I'm a lot of things, but that, that's one thing I'm not. That and was did it. You, and did you believe him? No. And Why would my son say this to me? Crystal, is it possible that you made up this story to hurt Keith for cheating on you? I knew Keith cheated on me millions of times before we even had children. Did you make up this story to hurt Keith for cheating on you? No. 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 Do you believe me? Fine. I don't know. Fine. I don't know. It's a big, uh, big roll of the dice there, huh? 
If you if you did have something you wanted to say and be no. honest and say, you know, no, what, I don't Keith? believe you. Okay. You don't believe me. No. Huh? Keith was asked, "Did you ever touch your son in a sexual manner?" He answered, "No." Did you ever have your son touch you in a sexual manner? Keith answered, "No." Did you ever tell your son that you would cut off his pee pee if he told anyone? about you touching him inappropriately? And he answered no. And the results of Keith's lie detector test is that he has told the truth. The truth. <laughs> and Crystal, you took a lie detector test before the show also. And you were asked, did you make up the story about Keith touching your son inappropriately? You answered no. You were asked, did your son tell you to tell his father to stay out of his diaper? You answered yes. Please God, don't want to do this. And you were asked, did you make up the story because you believed that Keith was having an affair? And you answered no. And the results of your lie detector test are that you did not tell the truth. What didn't I tell the truth about, if I can ask? Um, the three questions you were asked. Oh, I was lying about all of them? You tell me. How is it that he passes them? I was it, though. And you fail. You wrongly accuse a man for two years, his own I went by what son. My son said you to selfish, me. selfish woman. In a shocking turn of events, the accuser in this story was not telling the truth. But Keith has cleared his name and will hopefully continue to be a good father to his kids. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. In this next story, the murder of a mother has divided a family. Juanita believes her father had something to do with the murder of her mother, while her sister Nora claims it is all lies. This lie detector test was a last resort to find out the truth. Take a look at a clip. Juanita, why are you here today? To confront my dad about my mother's murder and... You think that your father murdered your mother? Yes, I think he, he murdered my mother. And then I'm here to confront him about being a dad be dad. Being a dad be dad. Yeah. Why do you believe that? Because he was doing drugs, he was running around, he got her on drugs. So I'm thinking that maybe he set her up. He didn't pay somebody their money in exchange. He gave them her. He used to beat her. He, he used, used to, to beat, beat her, abuse her. Beat her while she was pregnant. What did you hear about your mother's death? I heard that she was beaten to death and they don't, they, that she was beaten to death in the alley and she was pushed out of a car. And anybody ever arrested for this or? No. I, I'm told you're upset with your sister. Why are you upset with Nora? Because I don't understand why she's here with him or when it sh should be. She's she here, be. she's taking your father's side of the yes. story? Yes. And, and that upsets you? Yes. Now. You hear your sister come out, both of your young girls, when you lose your mother, to a violent death, right? Yes. She's under impression that your father either did it or had something to do with it because of his actions. And you feel completely opposite? No, I know my father would never do nothing like that. She just want attention, why do attention. You, why do you think, here's your chance now, why do you think that he had nothing to do with it? 
because my father, every time he look at a picture of my mom, he cries. Every time her birthday comes up around December, he cries. He brings her up, he cries. My dad and my mom, they love each other. I don't know why okay, would she would say something on, hold like on, hold that. On, hold on, hold on. Well, she tells stories of that your father was very violent to her. Is that true? Is it um, true? Yes, they were. They fought a little or whatever, but the way she put it, no. Did you know your par if your parents were on drugs? Yes, they were. Both of them? Yes. Is it possible when you're involved in drugs that, you know, maybe a deal gone bad, who knows? You hear about it all the time in the news. Somebody stiffs somebody, some, no, they come um, back, they get somebody. First off, my dad was no, nowhere around. My dad was nowhere around at all to know anything. My, he, my mother wasn't in contact with him at the time So at they were all. like split up? Yeah, split up. He was somewhere and she was somewhere. And before the show, you took a lie detector test, right? Yes, sir. And we'll get to those results. Did you have anything remotely possible with your wife's stuff? No, I did not have nothing to do not with my wife's death. My wife was the love of my heart. She was the love of your heart? Yes, she was. Now, both of your daughters have say you had been violent with your wife. Push up, but not violent enough to be hitting. hitting so you weren't punching no. her, slapping her? No. And were you both under the use of drugs at the time? We. Oui. Marijuana. That's it? Yes. You find out your your wife, the love of your life, has been murdered, right? Yes. Has to be shocking to you? Hurt me pretty bad. Were you ever questioned as a suspect? Yeah, I was. And you were clear? Right, right, right. At, right as soon as I found out, I found out that the, the detectives were looking for me. And so you went in, you yeah, got in. Yeah, so I went in and cleared myself. And from the time you broke up to the time of her death, how, how, how long of a time frame was that? Uh, a month. A month? The results of Eric's lie detector test. You were asked, did you physically abuse your ex-girlfriend, Gloria, during your six-term relationship? The mother of these two young women, right? Yes. You answered no. Did you have any involvement in Gloria's death? You answered no. Are you protecting anyone involved in Gloria's death? You answered no. And the results of those lie detector tests is that Eric told the truth. Now, you were further asked, did you get Gloria hooked on any drug other than marijuana? You answered no. Do you know who murdered Gloria? You answered no. Do you know more about Gloria's death than you are telling? And you answered no. And the results of those lie detector test results that you're not telling the truth. What? I don't think so. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. I wouldn't do nothing with not her death. That was the love of my heart. Do you know who did it? Hmm? Do you know who killed her? Do I have? Do I know who killed her? Do you know her? who killed her? No, I do not. Nora, how do you feel about your dad failing that part of the test? He passed, he passed some questions, but he failed the others. It's, it's unbelievable, and why would it be false? Why would it be a lie? Why would you lie if it's... I have no reason to lie. I have nothing to do with to my wife. I wouldn't have hurt her for nothing in the world. I could do a thousand of these shows, and I never know how men could stand on a stage and just so blasé say, I wasn't there for my kids. You got to live with it. Those are your kids on my stage crying. Those are your, your children that have no relationship with each other because you haven't been involved in their life. You got your, your, you got your daughters hating each other. Sisters that don't like each other because of you. That's what you did. That's what you've accomplished in life. Not being there for your kids. I hope you can live with yourself. Get off my stage. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back with more shocking lie detector results. You are the cop. Get off my stage. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. On my show, lie detector test questions are usually about pretty horrible things. 
But in this next story, the question at hand was, did we have sex? I called to try to get the love of my life back. And I mean, it's just been a big old mess. I'm tired of fighting. I want to know the truth, if she actually really loves me or not. You're here because you want to get the love of your life back? Yes. How old are you, Nick? I'm 20. 20 years old and yes. you already met the love of your life? Uh, I believe so, yes. Now, I just want to ask, yes. because you're very much in love with this woman, do you have sex with this woman? Uh, we had it once, and after that, I kind of realized she has a big trust issue. So I told her, I said, you know what? I'm going to show you that I'm not out just for, you know, to take advantage of you, a swing, nothing like that. I'm an honest, decent to God, you know, good person, so. So you've been seeing her since November. Yes. It's, you know, five months later. Yes. And you had sex with her once. Yes. And then you decided, I'm not going to have sex with you anymore because I want to show you trust? Yes. I'm you might have sent her another bad message. Did she tell you she loves you? Yes, she did. And she told you this in January? Yes. And then she would tell me, you know, Nick, I'm not looking for a relationship. I just want to be friends. I love you as a person, but I'm not in love with you. That's kind of the kiss of death. Right. That's what I'm saying. Did she ask for money? Uh, yes. Could she just be maybe using you that's what I've been wondering, for money? And that's why I also came Maybe she show. sees a really nice guy. Could she be taking advantage of you? That's what I'm wondering. That's one reason why I also came on the show, because I want answers to it. What's your relationship like been with Nick? Like, what's it been like? Well, Steve, we don't have a relationship. We've been friends, and I've been trying to tell him this for quite a while now, and he doesn't seem to get it through his head, that I don't have feelings for him like that. And he, he wants to be with me, and he wants all of this, but he doesn't understand I don't want that. Did you ever have sex with Nick? No. He, no, I didn't. He says that the first night that, well, he came home, you were in his kitchen, you drank some beers, and that you had sex the first night that you guys were together. My cousin and her husband took me to meet Nick at his house, and yes, I was in his kitchen, and I met him and said, hi, hello, you know, spoke with his family, and then we went to hang out at my cousin's house, and yes, we did drink that night. It wasn't beer, it was liquor. And yeah, we did get a little crazy and stupid, and we almost had sex, but we didn't. Did you say, I love you, or did you say, I love you as a friend? I said, I said, I love you as a friend, basically. I said, love you, you know, not, I love you. I well, said, love well, you, you know. You both took <laughs> lie detector test before the show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you feel confident about yours? Yes, I do. And Megan, you took a lie detector test before the show? Yes, sir. And you feel very confident about yours? Yes. Nick, you were asked, did you and Megan ever have sex? And you answered yes. Yeah. And did Megan ever tell you that she loved you in person? Yes. And you answered yes. And the results of your lie detector test is that Nick told the truth. I mean, if you had sex with them, it's not like the worst thing in the we world. We almost had sex. We did not have intercourse. It didn't happen. All right, Megan, you were also given a lie detector test before the show. And you were asked, did you ever tell Nick that you were interested in having a relationship with him? You answered no. Did you lead Nick on to get money and gifts? And you answered no. And the results of those two questions are, that Megan told the truth. Mm -hmm. nice one. But the other. But she was asked two more questions. Yep. Did you and Nick ever have sexual intercourse? She answered no. Besides on the phone, did you ever tell Nick that you loved him? She answered no. And the results of that are Megan, you didn't tell the truth. I did say I've told him I've loved him as a friend. I made that clear to him. He said Let's it himself. Let's forget about that part. Let's go to okay. question number three. <laughs> Did you and Nick ever have sexual intercourse? Come on. Not that I remember. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I think... Maybe it wasn't very good. Maybe it wasn't very memorable. But can you at least throw the guy a bone and say, yeah, we did? <laughs>
Well, it wasn't my idea. <laughs> really? <laughs> Nick may have gotten the answers he was looking for, but it wasn't enough to save the relationship. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. Today we're looking back at some of the most shocking lie detector results from season two. And hopefully, the results revealed on my show bring some measure of closure to those who need answers. Take a look at a clip. This is a one-year-old boy that died while you were caring for him? Yes, sir. And um, how long ago did this happen? Uh, yeah, five and a half years ago. Five and a half years ago? Yeah. And what, what happened? This is the most emotional thing that's ever happened in my life. I had the boy, I kept him overnight, got him up the next morning, I gave him his medication, and within just like 20 minutes or so, he was back to sleep. So how he, did he die? How did he die? According to autopsy report, he had an overdose of oxycodone. How did he get the oxycodone in the system? How did he? Yeah. That I don't know. How do I think he got it? I think he got it out of his out of his bottle of antibiotic. I believe it was in the antibiotic. Who put the oxycodone in the antibiotics? I believe that his mother knows who did it or did it herself. I don't know which. Did you have any other drugs in your house? Marijuana. I smoked marijuana. And I smoked marijuana while he was asleep that day after I put him down for his nap, and that was the worst thing I could have done. Did the mom smoke pot with you? No, no, she was pregnant. She wouldn't smoke pot, but she did tell me, it's okay, Sharon, because if I wasn't pregnant, I would be smoking pot myself. That's what she told me when she brought him to me. How high were you? How high was I? I had a slight buzz. Slight the day, buzz. The, the, day that, the day that I, the day he died, okay, he was already asleep before I went out and got high. And I didn't get high. I took two hits off of my pipe to numb the pain in my own back because I, have, I do have a few problems. I thought, well, he's asleep, everything's okay. I was high when I got him, so it'll be okay. How, how did you know that the baby died? I went in to wake him up at supper time. Supper was almost ready and I went in to wake him up and uh, he was dead. How come you weren't charged by the police? They're still investigating. They're still investigating. And who's the prime suspect? I would imagine it's me. They just, they just, they had closed the case and now they just reopened it. Yes, they closed it with nothing. Um, I don't know. I don't know what was going on. I know that a whole bunch of questions were still being asked. You know what, and get, they finally get your ass reopened. up out of my chair. <laughs> You're a liar. You're a no, you know. I am not you the one you are know the one better. You know better. Boom. You know better, you Tracy. You high. Yes, I did, but you knew I was high when you brought him. No, I did. You didn't say anything. We sat in his bed. We Ball. sat there and we talked, and I asked him, no. "Are you sure you want me to have him?" He said, "No." He said, "No, it's okay." How many other times did you watch him that you were high? Have I, I ever left him when you were high? I How many times? Him? Shut I up. Have In my eyes, she is responsible. Whether she did it, she is responsible. You took a lie detector test before the show also, right? Yes. 
and so did Sharon. Everybody was given a lie detector, even Kenneth, which you were in the hospital, so do I no, certainly don't know how you would be involved. But we gave you one. Did you give Garrett any oxycodone? You answered no. Did you put any oxycodone in Garrett's medication? You answered no. Do you know who gave Garrett the oxycodone? You answered no. Did you have any oxycodone in your household? No. Did you accidentally overdose Garrett with oxycodone? You answered no. You were in the hospital at the time. Kenneth has told the truth. Okay. So the re these are the results for Casey. She was asked, did you give Garrett any oxycodone? She answered no. Casey was asked, did you put any oxycodone in Garrett's medication? She answered no. Do you know who gave Garrett the oxycodone? No. Did you have any oxycodone in your household? She answered no. Did you accidentally overdose Garrett with oxycodone? And she answered no. And the results of Casey's lie detector test are that she told the truth. <laughs> well, let's get the results of your test, Sharon. Did you give Garrett any oxycodone? You answered no. Did you put any oxycodone in Garrett's medication? You answered no. Do you know who gave Garrett the oxycodone? You answered no. Did you have any oxycodone in your household? You answered no. Did you accidentally overdose Garrett with oxycodone? And you answered no. And the results of your questions, you did not tell the truth. Yeah. Did not tell the truth again. No, Failing again. It doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise you? As much you? of a nervous Why? person Why? Because do you I... know you did it? No. No. I can't understand the, the loss of a child, how devastating that must be. But I hope that the police opening, reopening this case brings some measure of hope for you and that someday Justice will be done right by your son. I, I hope you get that. We need to. Stay with us. We'll be right back. You are the cop. Get off my stage. Welcome back to the show. When the question is asked, who bruised the baby? I demand answers. That's why everyone in this next story took a lie detector test to find out the truth. Take a look at a clip. I'm here today because of three days ago, my ex-husband had had all my rights taken away of my two-year-old daughter. And how was he able to do that? My ex-husband accused me and my boyfriend of abusing my two-year-old daughter. What kind of abuse were you accused of? Um, a lot of um, bruising to her head, all throughout her head and all throughout her backing and on her sides. Did your daughter at some point have a lot of bruises on her? Not when I returned her, no. I returned her to him on a Monday and on a Thursday he had taken her to the doctors and that's when I heard the news that Child Protective Services was involved and what had happened. When she left my house, she had one bruise on her forehead. She had fallen off my chair, and she had a little bruise right here. And by the time on Thursday when I saw her at the courthouse, she had multiple bruises all across her head, all around her back and on her sides. Do you feel that you're a good mother? I'm a very good mother, very good mother. Do you feel that when you had your daughter, because obviously he, your ex let you take your daughter and spend some time with her, and you brought her home, mm -hmm. is it is it possible that your boyfriend did this to your daughter? The abuse? Yes. No, absolutely not. And wh why is that? The, why is it? Because, okay, when I pick up my daughter, she's very happy to see me. She is very happy to see her mother. When I bring her through that door, she runs straight to my boyfriend. She runs straight to him, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. And she's so excited to see him and ready to play. And before the show, you took a lie detector test, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> we'll get to those results. Now, your daughter does have, according to your wife, 
or your ex-wife that when she had her, she did, she says that she fell off a chair, she had a bruise on her forehead, and then she took her back to you, and then a couple of days later, she got bruises all over her head. Your daughter's two years old, bruising all over the back. Where did these bruises come from? I don't know. I dropped her off on a Friday, and I picked her up on a Monday, and I went to go pick her up, and, and I seen her face, and I had asked Allison what had happened. And um, she said she fell off did the chair. Did she just have one bruise at, at this time? At the time, I didn't, I'm about to explain that. She said she fell off the chair. So as I'm taking my daughter, I'm putting her into the car seat. She goes, Daddy, boo-boo. And I said, where? You know, she's pointing towards her back. I lift up her shirt, and there's a massive bruise. I mean, it just stunned me. And I asked her, I said, what happened? She says she fell off the chair. So I took her to the doctors that day. Um, they explained to me that they have to see it in a, a pattern in order to detect if it was being abused or being neglected. So I said, okay, and I didn't feel comfortable sending her back, so I went that day to front of the court. I filed a motion stating there's a possibility of abuse. Can I get a temporary custody to where her mom has supervised visits until they can investigate? So they did. And then from, from there and on, it's just been crazy. Did your daughter tell you who did this to her? Yes, she did. Who did she tell you? Um, did this. She said Anthony do this and she pointed to her thigh because that's like right by her hip is where she had a bruise and on her back and I've never said his name in front of her so it kind of like cut me off guard. When you were putting it in a car seat you don't think it's odd that she didn't say daddy Anthony hit me? No um I, I don't know she told me she fall. David you you took a lie detector test before the show? Yes. Did you abuse your daughter? No. You never put any bruises never. on her? I mean, she's two years old. Yes. Whoever did this is a sick bastard, exactly. right? Exactly. What would you like to see happen today? I want to see that this lie detector test come back, that there was no abuse going on, and that my daughter was not harmed in any way. By you? By me or by them, anyone. And that if she does change her ways, I want her to have a relationship with her daughter. I want her to be there, you know, just as much as I am, because it's hard doing it by yourself. And if they, either one of them fails the lie detector test? Oh, I would, I would fight it all the way to the end. Allison, you were asked, have you ever hit your daughter with excessive force? And you answered no. Have you ever seen Anthony physically abuse your daughter? You answered no. And the results of Allison's lie detector test is that she has told the truth. <laughs> David, you were asked, did you intentionally cause physical harm to your daughter to gain custody of her? You answered no. Did you ever hit your daughter with excessive force? David answered no. Did you ever physically abuse your daughter? No. Did your daughter tell you that Anthony do that to her? You answered yes. And the results of that are that you told the truth. <laughs> David was also asked, did you coach your daughter to make the statement, Anthony do that? He answered no. Did you coach your daughter to make the statement about Anthony? He answered no. And the results of that part of the lie detector test, he told the truth again. <laughs> results for Anthony. Did you ever physically abuse Allison's daughter? And the answer was no. Your answer was no. Did you ever hit Allison's daughter with excessive force? And the answer is no. And the results of Anthony's lie detector test is that Anthony told the truth. The only reason why I came in this show is to clear my name because I have little kids. I am not going to be called an abuser by anybody. You said the lie detector test came back that I or Anthony were not abused. You'd give me my parenting time back. This is your, the mother of your child. I think now that she cleared her name to your satisfaction, that whether it be at your house, a park, I don't care where you have to go. Go somewhere so she can see her daughter. Don't deny her. <laughs> it was a shock and a relief to find out that everyone passed the lie detector test about bruising this child. And hopefully going forward, Allison and David are able to put their differences aside for the sake of their child. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. We have seen some shocking results so far. Some pass, others fail. But in the end, the truth comes out. I'm here today because I told my husband two days ago 
that he needed to take a lie detector test about his infidelity. I'm tired and I need to know if he was cheating on me, if he was having a sexual relationship with other women. And how long have you been married? Six years, we've been together for 12. You've been together 12 years? Yes. And why do you think he was having sexual relations with other women? Well, I found out about um, at least three affairs through uh, friends of mine. And I, I, I can't even believe that he would do that to me. I can't believe it. Why would you stay with a guy like that? Because I love him. And he took a, a lie detector test before the show? Yes. And you also took one, right? Yes. Have you ever been unfaithful to him? In a sense, yes. When, when we say, okay, I'm not going to be bothered with you anymore, I'll go my way. But as far as sexual, no. Never. Never. What if he fails? If he fails, that's it. That's it. We're, we, we cannot. Really? Really, really. What if you fail? I'm not going to fail. You're, you're pretty confident you're going to fail. I'm positive. I'm not going to fail. How you doing, Tony? Yeah, how you doing? Uh, let me just start this like this. I no, do no, no, no. I do, no. It, I do it for you. I do it for you. <laughs> well, honestly, if you wanted to have a seat, you could, because I don't let people that, when they abuse somebody, when they, they're not taking care of their kids, she said, you, you take care of your kids, you're a good father, She's saying you never admitted to cheating on her, that you didn't have a sexual mm -hmm. relationship. So, you know, the, right. she doesn't trust you. That's not worthy of not staying on my stage, but if you're more comfortable staying. No, I'd rather staying. stand so when, when the tests come back and they say that I didn't do that stuff, then she can flip the chair, and then I can sit there. And do you so, ever worry that she's being unfaithful to you? Um, I try, you know, my heart say no. My heart say, you know, she's doing the right thing. You know, she's going out having a good time. But then my mind is playing tricks on me. My mind is telling me that, you know, Maybe she is out there doing something, you know. And have you been sexually with another woman? No, I haven't. This one time I told her about, this was way before we got married. I already told, I, I told her about that situation, and that was it. I mean, I still want to keep my marriage. I want to keep my marriage. So whatever it takes, that's why I'm here. Hey, it's, it's your comfort level. And, and if she passes, that'll be a good thing, and you'll feel happy that she never did that. Yeah, and... I'll probably kiss your rug. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if you want to kiss this one. <laughs> uh, you need to be kissing your wife a little more, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, that too. All right, like... so who, who's telling the truth, the audience? Who's, who's, who do you think's been faithful on Facebook? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Who's, who's back in uh, Shariner? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Wow. I don't care. That's what All right, we're going to read yours first, Serena. He said, if you fail, he's going to stay with you. Sounds good for TV. Sounds good for TV? Sounds good for TV. You don't think he would stay with no. you? No. No? No. Will you stay with him if no. he fails? So you're saying if he fails, he's out. Yep. All right. You think she's been telling the truth? My heart says she... She was. Okay. But he your mind? Liar. My he mind liar. sometimes play tricks, you know? And you were asked, have you had a sexual arena? You were asked, have you had a sexual relationship with anyone other than your husband while you've been together? You answered no. Have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your husband while you've been together? And you answered no. And the results are, you didn't tell the truth. No, I mean, nope. She, yeah, she right. Did, she did yeah, tell the right. truth. Yeah, right. No, no. Yeah. What did you say? What did you say? Okay. 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 <laughs> Tony, have you, you were asked on your lie detector test, have you had sexual relations with anyone other than your wife that you have not told her about? And your answer, no. Did you have a sexual relationship with your coworker? You answered, no. Have you had sexual intercourse with anyone that you have not told your wife about? And your answer was? No. And the results of Tony's lie detector test is that he did not tell the truth. Oh. You got to be kidding me. Okay. Tony, and no, that, now, no. Now what, that, what, what's wrong with the test? What, what's wrong with the test? 
No, this, this is definitely not right. What? What? What did you say? What did you say? I didn't hear you. What did you say? It's, this is not right. It's, it's not I'm, right. I'm serious about this. This is not right. So mine's is wrong? No. Because if yours is not right, mine's is right? I, I... I truly didn't. I truly didn't have. Yeah. I truly didn't have yeah. any any sexual yeah. relationship with nobody since we've been married. So you know what's up, right? You know what's up, right? You know, right? Yeah. Okay. I got I got set up. Got you set got up. set up. <laughs> yeah. I got set up. The you, story. You, you called got the set show. Up. I know I called you the show, but you set yourself up. If you if you ask this person, we never had sex. We never had sex. I know. I, I wasn't even anywhere. Well, we could have sex. Phone, phone sex, phone maybe, sex, I heard? internet sex. So that's considered having intercourse? <laughs> if that's what you did. Did you ever I type did. on the internet? I'd like to have sex with you, fantasize, role play. Um, yeah. uh, no, nah, I mean, <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah. You know what? I told you I would pass. And I gave you an opportunity. Yeah, I, and I told I you, I told you I would pass, but apparently something, something, something went wrong. You're with willing just to do the counseling, right? Yeah. But and you're willing. I, what yeah, I'm saying, at yeah, least you're you open know, to counseling. Before, After that, you make your own decision. You said decision you're willing. Decision is already made. It well, matter. you know what? You want counseling. You said you'd take counseling. She said she'd take counseling. It's a step in the right direction. I'll talk to him. All I'll right. talk to him. Then go with my friend Jim, and maybe he can help you. Good, you good luck to you. Good luck to you. I hope you work it out, man. I hope you I hope you do work it out. Good luck to you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stage. 